Hey guys, in this quick tip I'm going to be showing you how to create a low poly background using Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. You'll first want to select a colour scheme. I've got one up here which, which is from one of my university projects, so I'm going to use this one. And what you can do is get a brush. I'm going to start with the darker colours. And with the brush tool selected, if you hold Alt, you can actually use the um, eyedropper tool to select a colour. So I'm going to start with the dark green and basically just random shapes on the screen like this. Make sure that your brush, is, your brush hardness is on zero and you can have your size at however big you want it. So I'm just going to make some random shapes. Then go to the next colour. Make sure this is all on one layer as well. Just do the same with the next colour. And again, just do all the dark colours first. And then go to the light colours. Just layer them up. Just go over each other and everything. And red. And then just do the same with the light colours. I'm going to speed this up here because it takes a couple of minutes. If you don't want to do this step or if you don't have Photoshop, you can simply just go onto Google and type in gradient. And you can just use one of these and these will work just fine as well. So if you haven't got Photoshop, you can just use one of these. Um, but once, you're, once you've got to this stage, you can turn your palette off if you've got one up there. And then what you want to do is go to filter and then down to blur and Gaussian blur and then go to 174.6 that's what mine was already on that's what I used last time and it works fine once you've done that you want to do com control J or command J if you're on Mac to duplicate that layer and then you want to change the blending mode to overlay and you see it makes the colors a lot more vibrant and then what you can do is select both of these layers right click and then merge layers and then what you want to do is save this so just save this to your desktop or something and just save it as test Oops. right now once you've done this what you want to do is you want to go to this website I'll put a link to it in the description all you're going to do is you're going to scroll down from the top down to this bit where it says you can download sources here click here and it'll start downloaded. Once it's downloaded, open it and you want to drag, you want to extract this one, triangulator. I've already got it here, so let me show you what you're doing. All you can do is open this file, double click the index file, and it'll open this file. From here, all you do is drag in the file that you just made. So, I'll get the test file, drag this in. And now from here, you want to click here where it says tw add 25 vertices. You might want to zoom out as well to see it. So if you're on Google Chrome, you can click on this, these three little bars up here. And then where it says zoom out, it's got a little minus. You can click click this. And then you can come to here. And every t if you click on any of these any of these triangles here, it'll split the triangles up. And obviously you can keep, keep clicking randomly add. So it'll add 25 more each time. And you can also drag the points as well. So you could drag this one down, say, to the corner. And then keep clicking them all like this and you can create obviously if, it, if you want a random gen, randomly generated background then just go around randomly clicking and you'll get a random shape like this and then to save it all you're going to do is where it says export to SVG click on export and then it'll say um, save this save this link as file click that and it'll open this you do is right click save as uh, this bit this bit you need to make sure I'll just save this one as test again make sure you save it as dot svg it needs it needs to have that um, extension at the end otherwise it won't open so make sure you save it as dot svg right, so that's saved right show in folder right click if if yours says open with um, internet explorer make just right click down right click go down to properties and click on to change here But if, that, if that's not already there, all you've got to do is open Illustrator and just drag the file in like that. If it's got an Internet Explorer symbol, just drag it in and it should just come straight in like this. And then as you can see, it doesn't fit the document properly, but it is a vector. So we'll create another layer on top, make this the same size as the artboard, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. And then you're going to want to drag the low poly background that we just made make it larger than the document 
and then you're going to want to highlight both of these both layers make sure you've put, um, put the other one on a, the rectangle on a different layer sorry and then you're going to go to pathfinder if you haven't got pathfinder here go to window and then go down to pathfinder and it'll open it for you and you want to click on crop and what crop will do is cut everything out from the outside so you've just got this middle bit so now you're left with just the background you can also uh, drag these bigger as well so like this so when you save it you'll have obviously bigger triangles and then you can um, obviously look for different colors that you've got in there like that if you want to make it look a little bit more vibrant what you can actually do is save this from here um, I'll save it as web 191 by 1080 save it as test 2Ds um, take this back into Photoshop drag it back in and then what you can do from there is duplicate just make sure I've still got the original uh, rasterize the layer go to image adjustments color lookup and you can click on one of these and if you're on windows you can scroll through them all and just see which different effects you can get from it there is quite a few different things I found yeah this one I found this one to be the best the most effective for these sort of colors so just for example um, before after so that's just a bit of an example um, and also if you wanted to do if you did want to change the colors after after like after you took it back into Photoshop you can do control U and bring up the hue and just slide this across and it changes the colors for you hope this has helped guys let me know what other quick tips you want to do thanks for watching